So now please welcome Kate Flanders. She's Assistant Secretary of Together Union, which represents thousands of health workers, public servants and clerical staff across Queensland. Kate has worked as a union officer and organiser since 20, 2002, leading campaigns for pay equality and collective bargaining for rights at work, among many other campaigns. Today, Kate brings the perspective of the Together Union and the Queensland Council of Union to inform us how winning abortion rights will impact women in the context of the paid workforce. Welcome, Kate. Uh, I'd also, of course, like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land in which we meet tonight. Sisters, friends, comrades, today on this International Day of Action for Women's Health, I stand here representing women health workers, women workers, and the women we care for. Abortion is a union issue, but it shouldn't have to be. Just like domestic and family violence, sex discrimination, marriage equality and refugee rights, union men and union women stand up and fight back and we say when we need to change the rules. And here's another one where we need to change the rules. As unionists, we believe in human rights. And as Hillary Clinton reminded me recently when I saw her speak, which is great, she also has been saying for a long time, women's rights are human rights. What a shock. In 2008, in 2018, well, it could be 10 years ago, we're still talking about the rights of women to make healthcare choices like it's someone else's business, and it's not. Health workers should not have to base their advice to a patient on an outdated cultural view that is enshrined in legislation. A woman's healthcare decisions and decisions about her body are hers alone. We advocate for patients' rights and bodily autonomy in everything else, but not in abortion. Working women need access to safe and legal abortion when they need it. We deserve a choice. All women deserve access to safe and legal abortion when we need it. We all need to have that choice. While I am not a health professional, I represent them. I know how difficult it is for clinical staff to have to change the advice they give or the facilities they refer to where women can seek treatment based on the wrong laws that we have now. I have listened to the stories of doctors and social workers who have to tread a path of advising their patients while also treating them in line with their duties. They find it very hard to reconcile their duty to the patient and advice under the current law. The law is wrong. This state government has been a government prepared to take on the wrong laws. They have done that in so many areas. And now we are two amazing champions here with us tonight in Minister Miles and in Deputy Premier Jackie Trad and of course in their great colleague, Minister Fenton. And we know that they will take this fight up and they will do it well. I also want to reflect on something Minister Miles said. Each week as I drive to work, I see a campaigner who seeks to stop our right to make choices about our bodies and medical procedures standing on the side of the road with placards, seeking to intimidate women who are arriving at their medical appointments. The sight of this man makes me feel unsafe. I can only imagine the terror and anxiety he causes for patients and for the staff who work at this clinic. This man should not have the right to intimidate or harass women or health workers. This man and others like him, I know, seek to impose their outdated and extreme views by taking these extreme steps. I know many people who don't believe that women have the right to make medical procedures abused electorate office staff and MPs when the government talked about putting this law on the table. That is unacceptable. This is the abuse and violence that needs to stop. There needs to be safe and legal abortion in 2018 for all women, and aggressive and violent protesters must be excluded from access to patients and the health workers who look after them. We know from our amazing results overseas and at home that we can do this. The time is now. I stand here today as a Catholic woman, as a mother, as a very proud unionist, and as one of the over 80% of Queenslanders who support law reform now. Deputy Premier and Minister Miles, we know you can champion this for us this year. We know you can do it for all of us. Woo! 